Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a ton of smiley mail to open. I'm pretty sure a lot of these cards are Christmas cards. <laughs> I still have all your guys' cards hanging up on my wall and all these I will put up there and keep up there for another week or so. And I have a bunch of packages. Now if you are new to my channel and you don't know how I open my mail, I open all the cards I go back when I'm done and I read all of your letters, your cards, notes, all that kind of stuff. I did pre-slice all of the cards so it goes faster and I have all these packages and scissors so it should go fairly quickly. So let's, you know what, let's start off with a package. This one is from Kathy Swiger from Ohio and on here it says Ella, Ruby, and Josie. So love the paper this is one of my favorite wrapping papers from the dollar tree it feels like a grocery bag paw prints so let's see wow, you have that wrapped up good oh my goodness gracious oh it's in another bag It's a shadow box LED night light. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at all the different ones they have. Oh, oh, I love it. Here at the end, I'll plug it in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, that's so cool. And that's something I can keep up all year round. Wow, that is so cool. So thank you so much. Oh, in your cart. Oh. Look at the stickers. So I did not slice this one since it was in the package. Oh my gosh, look at that card. It is so cute. It is so adorable. Thank you, Kathy. I'll go back, like I said, and I'll go read all that. So thank you. So that over there. Over there. Let's do another package. Maybe I'll just do all the packages first this time. Normally I do like a little bit of cards in a package. Now well, let me do another package and then I'll do some cards. This is from Marilyn and Jonah Hyatt from South Carolina. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at all this. So this is what I'm looking at in there. Let me see. I'm going to up the card that says Jenny and Family. So there is your card. Okay, so, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, photos. So it's a photo album. I don't know if there's anything in there. Oh, and it, oh, it comes with cards. Well, that's cool. And the envelope. That's really cute. Oh, it has some stickers. Oh, those are so cute. Look at the Boston stickers. Really? Mm. Those are cute. Oops. And then we have these and these doggy ones. Those are cute. Keep calm and shop on. Those are cute. Oh, and the sock monkey. Josie. Two, six. Okay, so this is all wrapped up. Josie. All right. Oh, you got wrapped up good. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. That is so, even the color and everything looks like Joey. Thank you. That is cute. And let's see, we have some butterflies. And some more stickers and butterflies. And these are, I don't know what these are. Oh, they're like little sticky pad 
Oh, you get a lot. Thank you. That's really cute. Oh, and this pad of paper. Pretty. Love the green. Okay. Oh, and we have a Josie. Oh, a spoiled, rotten Boston <coughs> Terrier lives here. <coughs> so cute. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, yay. So thank you so much. That was very, very sweet and thoughtful of you. Still have more packages, but let me do um, some cards down here. And this is from Tammy Reese. So there is her card. Thank you for that. This one is from Barbara. Cardinal. Thank you. Here's my daughter, Sam. Hi, everybody. She's almost 21. Yep, almost 21, and she has a little Miss It's Ella. my baby. <laughs> Here is one from Walters from Illinois. Ooh, that's a pretty card. I love the deer. This one is from Kayla Johnson. From Iowa. Pretty. And I do keep all of your cards. I, I have a special box where I have all your Christmas cards from last year. I actually keep all of your guys' cards and letters and notes. This is from Robin from North Carolina. So that one is cute. Here's one from Cheryl Muntz, I do believe, from California. A thank you card. Let's go back and read that. So thank you for that. I'll go back and read that. And here at the end, I'll update you guys um, on what's going on with my medical and everything. Um, this, I'm not sure. I can't read it, but it's from Pennsylvania. Let me see if I can. Ooh, I love that card. It's so pretty. Mary. Thank you, Mary. Here's a card from Patty Swan. Butterflies. Upside down. There we go. So thank you, Patty. Here's one from My World and OKC. This is Miss Tammy. Oh, that's so cute. You do such a good job on your cards in that, Tammy. That is so cute. If I can open it. Aww. She's won a lot of my giveaways. Um, Charmaine from Arizona. Little rain reindeer. Um, a lady. That's cute. Yeah, she made that. Pull it out. It's a scarf. Isn't that pretty? I like the material. Yeah, I love the colors too. This one does not have a name on it, but it's from Wisconsin. So there's that. Let's see what your name is. Lori Neal. Look at that pick on back. Oh, that's cute. With the deer. That's really pretty. This one is from Beverly Taylor. Red truck. Thank you for that. Here's a card from Debbie from New Hampshire. A little Miss Jojo card. So thank you, Debbie. Here's one from Edith Henson from Tennessee. Oh my gosh, look at the back. Josie, your butt is hitting the camera. Josie! Wait a little. <laughs> so there is her card. It looks like there is a letter in there. So I will go back and read that. So thank you. Here's a card from Donna Vo. Oh, look at the Boston. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and her card. So thank you for that. Oh, that's so cute. Looks a lot like Ruby. This is from Yvonne Gully. So thank you for that beautiful card. This one is from Melissa. I know you've been with my channel for a long time too. That's a cute little llama card. And this is from Julia. Look how she decorated this card, you guys. 
And look at the back. That is so cute. They did a fantastic job. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thank you. I really like that envelope. I might have to keep that one. And this one, I ripped it, and this is, I think it's Lorena Johnson, maybe? Yeah, Hopefully the inside has your name. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, she included Lorraine Johnson. This is a Celtic tree of life charm. May you live a long life full of gladness and health with a pocket full of gold as the least of your wealth. May the dreams you hold dearest be those who come true. The kindness you spread keep returned to you. Oh, that is so cute. Let me fold back to it. That's what it looks like. That is really cute. So thank you for that. Okay, let me do a package. Move that out of the way. Um, this is from Kelly. I think it's Longley, maybe? I'm not quite sure. So let's with this sucker. Oh, but. Oh. Yeah. So it is double wrapped. Two stickers on the outside. Oh my gosh, and it's wrapped again. So here is a card. This is one of the strangest gifts you've ever received. I bet this will be one of the strangest gifts you'll ever receive. Oh my gosh. So here's a card, so let me rip this open. Oh, that's pretty. Blue Jay and Cardinals. That's really cute. Okay, so, oh, there's stickers on the back. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, look at those stickers. Oh, oh they're so cute. Oh, the stickers go over there. Okay. I like how you use green. I may have to cut this. Oh my! That is so. <laughs> Stick on toilet seat cover. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh, I love it, though. That is so... I need to open that. I really need to open that and get... <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so, oh, and, it, toy, and then with your note, just makes it even funnier. Oh, I had it upside down. Did I have it upside down? I'm not sure, but look at that. You stick that on the toilet. That's so cute, though. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. That is so funny, cute, and smart at the same time. So here is another package. It's in here. Aww. Look at all these pads of paper. This one has a Frenchie and another Frenchie. Let me cut the, let's get the bow off here. Oh my gosh, and they're all... Oh, I don't want to rip them. So we have that one. Oh, it's the outline of a Frenchie. Oh, that is cute. And then we have, when you need a hand, I found your paw. Oh, that's really cute. And then this one has little paw prints of a Frenchie. And a couple other dogs up there. And this one says... Dogolic, and it has a French eight. That is so cute. Thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of you. And I love that. It's so funny. Um, okay, open that. Um, let's do another package. This is from actually I don't know. Magnolia. I think it's a company. I'm not sure. It's an Amazon package. There's the receipts, I think. Let's see if I, there's gift for you. I hope you enjoy this, Jenny, and that works for you and all your summery mail Christmas cards. Love to watch your videos from Linda Stark. So Linda Stark, this is from her. Let's see. Does 
we're gonna chew on our bone. Go figure. Oh! oh. What? Oh, that is so cool. So it's a big long string of uh, fairy lights. Comes with the remote so you can control it and all of these pins are clothespins to hang the cards, pictures. That is so cool. Thank you, Linda. This probably takes Alex, will you get, or Sam, will you get me three AA batteries? They're right there on the counter where the phone normally is. It's in a glass jar. I need three of them. Sam? Um, Alex? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need three, please. That is really cool. Thank you. Let's throw some batteries in here really quick. And let's take a look. I already took the little plastic thing out of the remote. Clamp this so you can see them all lit up. And let's see what these do. Oh, they move. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then you can dim them and make them brighter. Put them on a timer and turn them off. That is so cool. I love it. Yes, definitely, definitely will be using that. I'm gonna fix my leg. Use what? Yeah, go ahead. Put. Make sure to stop it. <laughs> my daughter, Sam, as you've seen, she's here. She's gonna start the microwave and she just wanted to make sure it was okay. Um, okay, let's do some more cards, and then we have more packages. So here's the card from Sheila Hartsfield, and that reminds me, Tina Moore, you sent me a card the last opening, and I remember you. I think we had history class together, and we sat next to each other, and didn't I call you Dino? Was that my nickname for you? And I remember I brought Dino from the Flintstones, a purple one. Are you that Tina? Let me know if you're watching this. If so, it's so good to hear from you. Um, Sheila, yes, Sheila. Look at this card. Look at that. That's so cute. Thank you. And with the Christmas cards, the ones that have writing in them, I read them and then I hang them back or I hang them on my wall. That's what I did with that right there. This is from Haley from Oh yeah. A fellow Hoosier. Hey, Snoopy and Woodstock. Thank you, Haley. Um, this one does not have a name. So hopefully there's one inside. Oh, that's a pretty card. And this is from Mike Marlene Jonah Hyatt. So thank you. And this card is from June Lewis. Ooh, that's pretty. These are so pretty to frame. Oh, thank you. That's really pretty. I like that. Oh, here's another card that's really decorative. This is from Julia Barba. Is that the same one? That... Yeah, that's the same one. Oh, so cute. Another envelope I'll probably hang on to. The same person? Yeah, or... yeah, same person. Those are really cool. So there's, oh, it's a pop-out, kind of. That's cute. Thank you, Barbara. Here's one from Monica Whitehead from Arizona. This is a huge, thick card. Yeah. Oh, there's multiple ones. Every girl should use what Mother Nature gives her before Father Time takes it away. <laughs> ah, cute. Oh, there's two of them. The average woman would rather have beauty than brains because the average man can see better than he can think. Oh my God, that is so funny. Ah, those would be cute to frame. Oh, there's more. You're always the same age inside. Amen, sister. Yes. And then this one is normal, is in the eye of the beholder. Will be Goldberg. And then her Christmas card Oh, and pictures. Yes. Of what? 
Uh, they send pictures like of their family or kids or dogs or themselves. And this looks like her and maybe your son. This picture is me and my son. He is five years old. His name is Aiden. Ah, I will add you guys to my smiley board. So thank you for sending that. I love getting pictures of you guys. And she sent some really, really adorable stickers. Those are the, oh, that's a beanie boo. So thank you for that. That's very sweet of you to send all that. Um, here's a card from, I think it's Neva Coleman. Pretty Christmas tree. God, Christmas just came and went. Oh, another card. Oh, oh so cute. Let's see if their names. Brown is JD, 10 years old, and the Boston Terrier is Butch, 10 years old. Oh, let me see. Oh. Um, how cute that is. So that is so cute. I'll add your little guys to my board as well. Oh my gosh, how cute. Ella, zip it. So thank you for that. Here is a card with no name on it. Some birds and peace. And this is from Rami, I do believe. Is that wrong? <gasps> Jeez Louise! Yeah, that's Ella for you. She can't see. She can't see. Come here, baby. Sorry for that ride. <laughs> Hope I didn't make you sick. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's getting really bad, you guys. I'm going to have to buy her a cane or something. So I think it's Rami or Rome, Georgia. So thank you for that. <laughs> Leave it to one of my dogs to um, this is from Elora Neely. I recognize that name too. Cute card, so thank you for that. Oh, aka K. Foreman. This is from Candy Girl from New York. If you won one of my giveaways before, I remember seeing your name or writing your name. Well, that's cute. All right, see you later. Don't forget to bring me back the key or when I see you. Okay. Just give it to me when you see me again. Okay. Bye. Did you get your stuff that I gave you? Yeah. Okay. That is so cute. I like the little drawing, too. So thank you. Here is one from Mer Moreno, I think, California. That's your decorative card. Oh, that's a Frenchie sticker. Just now seen that. <gasps> Ooh. So, Diane, so thank you for that. Here's one from Diana Lopez. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard from you forever. Toby, that was your dog's name, Toby. There's your card, I'll put that in there. There's her Christmas card. Oh, that's so cute, the sticker, Josie. So there's the sticker I'll show you guys that it's right in there. Oh, thank you. Hope you and Toby are doing well. Here is one from Lisa Davis from West Virginia, I do believe. So thank you very much for that card. Here's one from, I don't know, they stamped over it. Can't read it. Ugh. There's your card. Debbie. So thank you, Debbie, for that beautiful card. Here's one from Suzanne from California. Oh, it's your, oh, it's a White Westie. Is that a White Westie? I think that's a White Westie. I had one of those. Suzanne and Rocco. Rocco. Oh, that's a Westie or not. That is so adorable. I will be putting that up on my wall here. And then when I take it down, since it is a picture, I will add it to my smiley. Now it's a wall. I ran out of room on my board. So now it's a wall full of your guys' pictures. Here's one from Veronica, Texas. A lot of family in Texas. Here's your Santa one. So thank you very much for that. Here's one from Cheryl Monts. 
I think I just opened one for you, didn't I? Some thumbs. It's a pretty card. If you hear any weird noises, it's my husband outside getting all the Christmas lights down. And he's working around the windows right now. Um, this card, um, it's from Christina. I'm going to cover up your... Oh, it's from Richmond, Indiana. So I didn't travel that far. But look what happened. Tell me, how does a card get chopped in half? And they put a note in there, obviously, to, to explain what happened or something. So, oh wait, Christina, Richmond. I can't remember if I, I don't think I met you, but that, that name for some reason rings a bell. Yeah. So let's see what they have to say. We care. Dear Postal Customer, we sincerely regret the damage to your mail during handling by the Postal Service. We hope this incident did not inconvenience you. We realize that your mail is important to you and that you have every right to expect it to be delivered in good condition, which doesn't happen a lot. Although every effort is made to prevent damage to the mail, occasionally this will occur because of the great value handled and rapid processing methods, which can must be employed to assure the most um, there is possible. We hope you understand. We assure you that we are constantly stirring. Whatever. You know what? This happens about every third opening that I do for mail. I get half a card. So I think they should refund you a stamp. That's what I think. I mean, that's just uncalled for. I mean, look at that. Ugh. I am so sorry that happened to your card, Christy. But, yeah. I'm just going to still hang it up. So thank you. And I'm so sorry that your card got destroyed in the mail, which I understand since it's coming from the same state, I could see maybe from another country or say California that it goes through a lot of handling, but I don't get it. All right, let's do another package. I have three more, but I'll do one and then some more cards. So this is from... I don't know what the first name is, but your last name is Parks from Kentucky. So maybe it'll say it in the card here. So this says Mowen Family. Pretty card. And this is from Jason. Is it Tracy? I'm not sure, but her last name is Parks. Beautiful handwriting. So thank you for that. And we have stuff in here. Ah, oh, oh, look at these charms and patches. Those are so cute. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you to think of me when you've seen those. Here's one from a Carrie. I think it's Carrie. Staten. Non-machinable. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know what that means. Thank you. It's a thank you card, so I'll go back and read that. <coughs> Here is one from Barbara, which is stamped over again, so I can't read your last name. Barbara Chris Chrysler, I do believe, so thank you for that. That's really pretty. Uh, this has no name on it, but it's from Kentucky. Oh, that's cute. Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. That's a different kind of card. This one is from M. Patricia, Madison, Ohio. Pretty card. I don't know if your name's in here. Oh, here we go. Pat. Really cute. Thank you. This one's from Jan McDonald. McDowell. Oh, that's cute. She made it. Thank you, Jan. Or Jane. Jan. Jan. Stop looking, Ella. Oh, the dogs. Melissa Perez. From Florida. Joke, joke, card. Oh. And your index card. And 
some really cute stickers that I will add. I'll put the stickers right there with all the others. Don't want to forget, Alex, when I'm done here, I'm going to plug in this night light so I can show them what it looks like. There is a card from Lynn Fraley. I think that's what it says. La 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 la. So cute. Keep it. Yeah, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. It's really cute. This is from Tammy Royal, Royal, Tennessee. Ah, the Looney Tunes. Love the Looney Tunes. Thank you, Tammy. Here's one from Mary Dishman. Or, I think that's what it is. Ooh, that's cute. Very farmhouse. Oh, a card. Oh, thank you, Mary. This is from Miss Blackburn. Vance? Fancy? I don't know. They ripped the corner of my envelope. So there is her card. Don't tell me they ripped your card too. Yep, they ripped your card too. Look at that. Urgh. Let me see what your first name was. Nancy. Vancy. Oh my gosh. Nancy. See, all I got was they ripped. Oh, I don't want to show it because I don't want your address to be showing, but they cut the part of the envelope so it looked like a V. <laughs> Vancy. Ugh, leave it to me to make up a name like that. Um, oh, that's okay, sweetie. I'll go back and read that. Thank you so much for that. Um, here is one from Madeline. Florida. Cute. Oh, and there's a letter, so I'll have to go back and read that. Nick and Coco. Madeline. Miss Madeline. You guys have such awesome handwriting. Um, here's one from Rita Plunkett. Rita's been with me for a long time, too. That one is cute. So thank you. I'm going to have to get a bunch of tape. Tape it all on my wall. I know Christmas is over, but I want to see your guys' card. I just, it's been hectic with birthdays and Christmas and my health. It's just been a freaking mess. Um, this is K. Well, it just says K. Ooh, a cute card. Oh, look at the stickers. Sloth, llama, and fox. All the animals we like. Those are so cute. Cammy. That's your name, Cammy. So thank you. Aw, love you too. That's so cute. Um, this is from Lisa Jenkins. Pretty card. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, we have three more cards and two more packages, and we are done. This is a Tanya. I think that's what it says. Post office stamps over your guys' information. It's hard to read it. So this is from Tanya, I think. Oh, that's cute. And then this one is from Sharon Estep. Vista. Cute. Did a good job on that. Oh, that's cute. Is that a bracelet? I think that's a bracelet. And of course, it's a green bag. Love it. Oh, these are earrings. So we have earrings. Oh, those are cute. She made it out of little bells. The bracelet. That is super cute. Thank you. You did a great job on that. Put those in there so I don't get lost. So thank you. One more card. And that's Kathleen Buttman, another subby that's been with my channel for a very long time. So there's her card. So thank you so much, Kathleen. Very, very kind of you. Okay, we have two packages. This is from Billy Walters from Iowa. I'm scared. Oh, her cutting some of this. So I'm afraid I'm going to cut something. Ooh. See? I almost cut something. I jinxed myself. Okay, let's get the card. That's a heavy card. Jenny and 
family. Holly Jolly Christmas. Ooh, there's something in there. Oh, cool. It's a keychain. Oh, it says Jenny. Huh. Huh. So it says Iowa. You can see it. And then on the back, it shows up. I think, I think it's, I don't know if it's, see it, Jenny? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. That is very, very sweet of you. I love it. Put it there and see what's on here. Oh, oh what is that? All you need is love and a dog. Amen. Look at that kitchen towel. That's so adorable. Thank you. I'll hang that up today. That's very, very kind. And the last package is from Marsha, maybe? Jackson from Michigan. What's that say? Fragile. Fragile. I think that says fragile. I love that movie. Never watch it enough. So here is a card. I get a kick out of those cards. Is it Marsha? Um, last name is Jackson. Okay, so let's see. Present. Okay. So when she's seen it, she thought of me. Oh my gosh. French Bulldog. Pardon my Frenchie. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, and it comes with a little bag. Oh, that's so pretty. I can't get it out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's a little weird and growing. Oh, I love the bag that it comes with, too. And it says, pardon my Frenchie. That's what it says on the gold. Oh, that is so cute. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. Heaven forbid if my phone focuses right. Oh, I hate this phone. Oh, thank you so, so much, everyone. That is a lot of mail again. And you guys are just amazing. I got to renew my P.O. box. I wasn't going to renew it just because of my mail getting damaged and lost and mishandled. But I just love getting to know so many of you. So that's why I'm looking forward to reading your guys' cards and letters and notes. Um, because, you know, a lot of you get to see me all the time, but I can't see you. So I get to hear, you know, about you, your family, your likes, your dislikes, your problems or your your good news, bad news, all that good stuff. I just love getting to know you guys and just know whatever you say to me will stay with me. I don't share that information. I don't share your address, any of that stuff that you, I swear to you, I do not share anything. So it's safe with me. So I just want to say thank you again for everything. You guys are just amazing. Um, the last opening, I, it was on a Friday. And I think I didn't post it to like on a Wednesday or something of the following week. And I was having a lot of issues with my kidney stones. I'm not going to go in the whole spiel and all this other stuff. Um, I have not gave birth to that kidney stone yet. It is still lodged. I am just paranoid to go in to have it surgically removed. I don't know exactly how many I have, but I know I have them on the left and right side. Um, because the last time I should have brought it down here. I have my x-ray upstairs. On um, the last time the doctor went in to remove a kidney stone, it was a lot worse than what he thought, and I ended up having a huge stent placed into my right kidney, and I was hospitalized for four days. Um, I had severe bleeding afterwards. It just, I bled really, really bad out of you know what, and it was just a horrible, horrible ordeal. So um, right now where the, the kidney stones are, I... It's doing something because the pain I've been experiencing has just been 
I mean, I like, I start sweating and my head starts spinning and my vision gets all blurry. Um, my speech is getting messed up, but I think that has to do with some other um, medical issues that I have um, that's affecting that. Um, I have not really gone into detail about that. So if you, if you hear me speaking differently, or if I'm slurring my words or something, it's, it's a medical thing. It's not, I'm not doing it on purpose or anything. Um, I did go to my back doctor and I, I think I'm just going to have to go to a surgeon. I keep putting it off because a lot of you said don't have back surgery, which I really don't want to, but I'm just tired of taking medicine all the time to help with my back pain. It wakes me up at night. Um, I was supposed to go to my GI doctor on Monday, which was, I think it was the 23rd. My appointment was at 8.30, and by the time I got up and I was feeling really sick, my stomach was hurting, my side was hurting, I, I, w I was late to my appointment, so I had to reschedule it. So, you know, as you know, getting into a specialist is <laughs> horrible. Um, but I still go to my kidney doctor, which is going to be a new doctor. Um, on February 10th and I'm going to get his input because he was my kidney doctor. My dad had kidney disease. My, my dad was actually on dialysis um, and he had kidney failure and I'm on that path with my right kidney. I've had issues with that since uh, 2013 and I was on the verge of, um, what's that called? Um, something kidney failure. I can't even think of it, what they called it. But anyway, I've had a lot of issues with that. Um, I have issues with my intestines. Um, Crohn's does run in my family. Um, and then of course with my back and I have a lot of adhesions all over inside my belly. So the adhesions are latching onto different organs in my belly and it's causing issues. Um, the doctor can go in and scrape all that out, but they're gonna grow right back. Um, so I have a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I just don't share a lot of it with you. Um, although the last, um, mail opening, a lot of you could notice that I was in a lot of pain and I was in a lot of pain, but I don't like to show that to you guys, but I know here and there, you're going to notice me not being myself. I'm not going to be upbeat. I'm not going to be laughing or smiling. And I try to fight through it. And I did my best in that video. That was a very long 30 some minute video and dealing with the pain and I had to keep pause on the video because it was so bad. But really I have not found anything out. Um, I am thinking about going to a different doctor for something else. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's about all that I have to share with you at this time. Um, my back isn't really bad right now. Um, I know I've shared with you with you guys earlier in the year everything that I was diagnosed with my back with the bulging disc and arthritis and my spine is crumbling and I have one of my vertebrae blah blah blah. I've had a dozen injections. I've had the nerve endings burn on L3, 4, and 5. I've done physical therapy. I do stretches. I do all this kind of stuff and nothing is helping with the pain. It's actually getting worse. So, I don't know. I just wish I can go to one doctor that can fix everything. Everything. But, you know, that doesn't exist. But maybe one day there will be. But anyway, that's about all um, what's going on. Um, you know, I'm, a lot of you are dealing with health issues. And um, I, I feel your guys' pain. Um, all you can do is take one day at a time, try to smile throughout your pain. That's what I was doing in that video. I was just smiling and just stretching and just trying to think happy thoughts. I will get through this. I've been getting through this for how many years now? Since 2012, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God, I can't even freaking do the math. Um, so that's all you can do. Try not to think about the pain. Try not to think of how depressed you are because you can't do what you used to. If you're bedridden, if you can't walk for a long period of time, believe it or not, I can't really stand for a long period of time. And a lot of people think, well, how do you go to all these Dollar Trees and walk and do this and that? It takes me a lot longer because I have to stop and I have to bend and stretch. And I'm in a lot of pain by the time I get to my car. So it's, it's, 
it gets very aggravating. Yes, there's days that I get so upset and so mad and depressed. I'm like, God, I just wish I could do what I used to. I want to play sports again. I want to be able to go outside and play football with the kids or whatever without hurting. But, you know, with, with age, things happen. And when you have a lot of medical issues and when you've gone through life-threatening things and almost lose your life, you tr you tend not to dwell on that a lot because I am just thankful for the, what is that on me? The extended time that I have been given because I should have been gone a long time ago, which at some point, like I promised you, I don't know when, and I will tell you my um, story that really had doctors stunned and could not believe what they were seen and that I was still alive. Um, so just know miracles do happen and try to think happy thoughts and just live one day at a time because you never know what the next day will hold. So with that said, I'm going to end this video and just say I love you all so much and I appreciate everything that you do and um, the time that you always take out of your day to watch my videos. So with that, I want to say thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.